Now, one of the basic skills in trigonometry is finding uh, the spe specific numerical values of trig functions using our unit circle or the calculator. Now, this time around, we're not going to use um, the calculator, but we're going to use a different technique on how to find some values of trig function using this set of formulas. So we call it the sum and difference formula, or the set of formulas that we use when we need to find a specific values in a trig function that is not found in the unit circle. So we have sum and difference of sine function, sum and difference of cosine function, and the sum and difference of tangent functions for solving um, the specific value of a trig function. Now, for the first example, we need to find the exact value of cosine 75 degrees. Now, if you'll notice, cosine 75 degrees or 75 degrees is not considered as a special angle in trigonometry. And if you will check your unit circle, 75 degrees is not there. So we only have 45 degrees, 30 degrees, 90 degrees, and uh, all the, well, the rest of the trig values or special angles that we use to... Um, solve when we are using the unit circle. Now, how do we find cosine 75 degrees without using the calculator? So we're going to use the sum and difference formula, which I just presented a while ago, to find the exact value of cosine 75 degrees without using the calculator. And to do this, we have a series of steps that we need to follow to be able to find cosine 75 degrees. So for step number one is we need to find a combination of special angles that will equal to 75 degrees. Now, it needs to be um, included as a special angle in your unit circle before you can use the formula. You cannot just arbitrarily choose uh, two numbers that when you add up or uh, subtract from each other will be equal to 75. So that means, or that being said, um, 50 degrees plus 25 degrees will not work to find the exact value of cosine 75 degrees because 50 degrees and 25 degrees is not in the unit circle. So there are several combinations that we could use. And I presented two co possible combinations of using the special angles in the unit circle to produce 75 degrees. And they are 30 plus 45 or 120 degrees minus 45 degrees. So these four angles right here are in the unit circle. And uh, somehow we're still using the unit circle, but this time around we're using the unit circle and the formulas that I just presented on the previous slide to find cosine 75 degrees. Now, since we have two possible combinations, I chose this combination right here to solve for cosine 75 degrees. Now, what if you choose 75 degrees for 30 plus 45 instead of this combination? Will you have a different result? Obviously not. So you will still have the same values or same uh, um, values for cosine 75 degrees even if you use any of uh, the combination. So let's use the formula. So that will be our second step. And in our formula, if I use this combination, I'll be using the difference uh, formula for cosine, which is cosine u minus v. So u will be my um, first uh, special angle, which is 120 degrees, and v will be my 45 degrees. So this is my u, and this is my v. So plugging it into the formula, cosine u is cosine 120 degrees times cosine 45 degrees plus sine 120 degrees times sine 45 degrees. And by using the unit circle, so now we're using the unit circle to find the specific value of these special angles. And we have cosine 120 degrees, which is negative 1 half, cosine 45, which is positive square root of 2 over 2, sine 120 degrees, which is square root of 3 over 2, and sine 45 degrees which is square root of 2 over 2. Now, to simplify your expression, multiplying these two fractions right here will give us negative square root of 2 over 4, and square root of 3 over 2 times square root of 2 over 2 will give us square root of 6 over 4. Now, to further simplify your two fractions, all you need to do is to add them up. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you don't like to deal with addition or subtraction of fractions. However, this one is easy because you have the same denominator. And when you have the same denominator, all you have to do is to copy the denominator and add the numerator. So our final answer, to answer the exact values of cosine 75 degrees using the sum and difference formula, it's equal to negative square root of 2 plus square root of 6 all over 4. So we found the actual or the exact value of cosine 75 degrees without resorting to um, using the calculator.
Now for the second example, we need to find the exact value of sine pi over 12. Now pi over 12 is obviously a radian measure. And uh, it's always easier to work with degree measure as opposed to the radian measure because um, it's not in fraction form. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add another step. And that step is to convert our radian measure to degree measure so that we can easily find the values or the combinations that we need to use the formula. So pi over 12 using our formula is equal to 15 degrees if we convert it to degree measure. Now since we have 15 degrees, which we know is not in the unit circle because it's not considered as a special angle, we're going to use combinations of uh, special angles when we add them up or uh, subtract them will be equal to 15 degrees. And here are some of the combinations that we could use to um, use the sum and difference formula to find the exact value of sine pi over 12. And in this combination, I'm going to use 45 minus 30 degrees. So I'm going to use sine u minus v for my formula to find sine pi over 12. And using the formula, which is sine u cosine v minus cosine u times sine v, I'm just going to use direct substitution to simplify my equation. So I have sine 45 degrees times cosine 30 degrees minus cosine 45 degrees times sine 30 degrees. And just like what we did in the previous example, just simplify your fractions, multiply and add them together. So therefore sine pi over 12 is equal to square root of 6 minus square root of 2 all over 4. And that's how we use the sum and difference formula for examples 1 and 2. Now for this example, um, it is presented in a different fashion. So we have to find the exact value of sine 42 degrees, cosine 12 degrees, minus cosine 42 degrees times sine 12 degrees. Now on example number 3, it's just um, the reverse of what, this, what, what step we did on the first two examples. So now we're, we need to find the pattern that we can use to solve for this particular um, sine or cosine value. So in this case, we have sine u cosine v minus cosine u times sine v because we are familiar with the formula already. So we know that this pattern is simply sine u minus v from our sum and difference formula. So that's the first step. You need to find the pattern associated with your question. And in this case, we have sine u minus v, where u is 42 degrees and v is 12 degrees. Now by substitution, u, of which is 42 degrees minus 12 degrees, will give us 30 degrees. And surprisingly, sine 30 degrees is in our unit circle. And sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. So for this example, this complex sine cosine combination is equal to 1 half. Now for this example, we're going to uh, present a different way on how to use the sum and difference formula. For this equation or this problem, we need to solve or we need to find all the solutions of this equation. And our equation is sine x plus pi over 4 plus sine x minus pi over 4, which is equal to negative 1. And uh, when we're solving trig equation, it's like solving linear equation or quadratic equation, but this time around, we're going to use special formulas or identities that we used from the previous lesson. So the first step is to uh, find patterns. Um, once you find patterns, try to use the sum and difference formula that will work with your pattern. And for this, particular question, we have two terms that we need to add together that needs to be equal to negative 1. And we have sine x plus pi over 4, which is, look, which is similar to uh, the sum of sine u plus v in our sum and difference formula. So we can change this or we can use this um, sine u plus v formula to replace or to uh, change the pattern of our first term. So we have sine u plus v, and for the second term, we have sine u minus v, which is equal to negative 1. Now, u will be x, and v will be pi over 4 in this pattern. So to use the formula, we'll have sine x cosine pi over 4 plus cosine x times sine pi over 4 using our first set of formula. And for the second set of formula, sine u minus v, we'll have sine x cosine pi over 4 minus cosine x times sine pi over 4 equal to negative 1. 
Now that we have a longer equation, we can simplify this by combining like terms. And if you will notice, you will have patterns. And in this case, we can add the first term, sine x cosine pi over 4, by sine x cosine pi over 4. And when we add them up together, we'll have two of them. So we have 2 sine x cosine pi over 4. Now if we can combine cosine x sine pi over 4 and cosine x times sine pi over 4, they will just cancel each other out because we have positive and we have negatives. So when you cancel this out, it turns into a 0. Now we only have 2 sine x cosine pi over 4 equal to negative 1. Now from a complex equation like this one, we are now down with um, a more simple equation that we could solve. So we have 2 sine x cosine pi over 4 equal to negative 1. And by using the unit circle, we know that cosine pi over 4 is equal to square root of 2 over 2. Now by solving for x, we can cancel the 2 right here. And now we, are only, well, we only have sine x times square root of 2 equal to negative 1. And since we are solving for x, because the question is to solve for trig equation, sine x will therefore equal to negative 1 over square root of 2. Now, 1 over square root of 2 needs to be rationalized because you have a radical in your denominator, so you'll end up with sine x equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. And as we know, sine x equal to negative square root of 2 over 2 is in our unit circle. Now, that will be our last step, which is to use the unit circle to find the exact value of sine x when it's equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. And those angles in our unit circle will be 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. And this is how we use the sum and difference formula in solving trig equation in this particular problem.